वेलकम टू द सेशन लेट अस सॉल्व द फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चन कंसीडर फंक्शन एफ फ्रॉम आर प्लस टू इंटरवल माइनस फाइव इन्फिनिटी विच इज क्लोज एट माइनस फाइव एंड ओपन एट इन्फिनिटी गिवन बाय एफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू नाइन एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस सिक्स एक्स माइनस फाइव शो दैट एफ इज इन्वर्टिबल विद एफ इनवर्स वाई इज इक्वल टू अंडर रूट वाई प्लस सिक्स माइनस वन अपॉन थ्री फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट एस अंडरस्टैंड दैट फंक्शन f फ्रॉम x टू y इज सेट टू बी इन्वर्टिबल इफ देयर एग्जिस्ट अ फंक्शन g फ्रॉम y टू x सच दैट g ओ f इज इक्वल टू आइडेंटिटी फंक्शन ऑन x एंड f ओ g इज इक्वल टू आइडेंटिटी फंक्शन ऑन y देन g इज कॉल्ड द इन्वर्स ऑफ फंक्शन f एंड इज डिनोटेड बाय f इन्वर्स This is the key idea to solve the given question. Let us now start the solution. We are given function f from r plus to interval minus five infinity, which is closed at minus five and open at infinity. It is given by f x equal to 9x square plus 6x minus 5. Now let us consider any arbitrary element y in range of function f. Then y must be equal to f x for some x in R plus. Now we know f x is equal to 9 x square plus 6 x minus 5, so we can write y is equal to 9 x square plus 6 x minus 5. Now, adding and subtracting one in this expression, we get y is equal to 3x plus one whole square minus six. This implies y plus six is equal to 3x plus one whole square. This implies under root of y plus six is equal to 3x plus one. This implies x is equal to Under root of y plus six minus one upon three. This gives the function g from interval minus five infinity, which is closed at minus five and open at infinity, to r plus. And is defined by. G by equal to under root of y plus six minus one upon three. Let us now find out G O F X. G O F X is equal to G F X. Now G F X is equal to G of Three x plus one whole square minus six. Now this is further equal to under root of three x plus one whole square minus six plus six minus one upon three. Now minus six and plus six will get cancelled, and we get three x plus one minus one. Upon three, we have neglected the all negative values as x belongs to positive real numbers. So we get plus one and minus one will get cancelled. We get three x upon three. Now three and three will get cancelled, and we get x, which is equal to identity function on R plus. Now let us 
let us find out FOGY. FOGY is equal to FGY. Now we know GY is equal to under root of Y plus 6 minus 1 upon 3. So we can write under root of Y plus 6 minus 1 upon 3. F of under root of Y plus 6 minus 1 upon 3 is equal to 3 multiplied by under root y plus 6 minus 1 upon 3 plus 1 whole square minus 6. Now simplifying we get 3 and 3 will get cancelled. This is equal to under root of y plus 6 minus 1 plus 1 whole square minus 6. This is further equal to under root of y plus 6 whole square minus 6 minus 1 and plus 1 will get cancelled. Now this is further equal to y plus 6 minus 6. Here we have neglected all the negative values as y is greater than minus 5. Now plus 6 and minus 6 will get cancelled and we get y that is the identity function on interval minus 5 infinity which is closed at minus 5 and open at infinity. Now g o f x is equal to identity function on r plus and f o g y is equal to identity function on the interval minus 5 infinity which is closed at minus 5 and open at infinity implies that f is invertible or we can say function f is invertible and g is the inverse of function f. So we can write this implies f is invertible and g is equal to f inverse. Inverse of f is given by g y equal to under root y plus 6 minus 1 upon 3. So we can write f inverse y is equal to under root of y plus 6 minus 1 upon 3. Hence proved. This is our required answer. This completes the session. Goodbye.